Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the electrifying world of EFIT Broadcast Channel. Before we dive into the heart-pounding action, let's set the stage with a brief disclaimer. The following content is an EFIT Broadcast Channel event created within the WWE 2K universe. All characters, storylines, and events are fictional and exist solely for entertainment purposes. Any resemblance to real-life individuals, living or deceased, is purely coincidental. Viewer discretion is advised. This show may contain intense simulated combat, dramatic rivalries, and over-the-type personas. It's all in good fun, but please remember that these are digital avatars, so grab your imaginary popcorn, suspend your disbelief, and let's get ready to rumble. Now, let the virtual battles commence. I like your take on boobies. And I like boobies. Now get the guns, the drugs from my generation. I'll take the fall, the state, and across the nation. And it's a sex, the guns, the freaks, the fraud, the messing with me. Come on, come on, come on, let's get it out. Move to the music. And welcome everybody to another episode of the E-Fed Broadcast Channel Universe And we are here for our fourth episode of the universe And our second episode of Monday Night Raw And tonight we are kicking things off with a little bit of Wes Lee Versus Finn Balor This is set to be a great matchup And guys, I am going to be here for all this action with you I am your host with the most MJ Jones A.K.A. The Governor The best voice in E-Fed Wrestling Wesley coming out the gates tonight To compete After having a nice matchup On the first episode of Raw with Ricochet However, Wes Lee came out on the losing end of that match. I'm sorry, I think Wes Lee came out. But whatever. But tonight, his opponent is none other than the Prince himself, Finn Balor. This here be. Finn Balor's also second appearance here in the Raw EFBC Universe. And he that famous warrior where he was in a, had a chance to win the championship here on Raw. But AJ Styles, who you'll see later on tonight in the main event, came away as the champion. And now Finn Balor finds himself fighting his way up the ladder to be called champion. It's gonna be interesting to see where the road takes Finn Balor. But what could be even more interesting is where or who becomes AJ Styles' next opponent for that world heavyweight title. Tonight also in action, you'll see the crowning of a new intercontinental world heavyweight title. I mean, intercontinental champion as Ricochet takes on Kevin Owens and Bronson Reed as those three guys, winners of their matchups last week, will compete for that Intercontinental title. 
And there's the bill. Finn Balor has Wesley by the back of the neck. Puts him up against the rope. A nice little shot to the back. Hired gun, the uh, general manager here of Monday Night Raw. Has a has a really tough job ahead of himself as last week it was reported that Nitro had the most views for the viewership of the group between Nitro, ECW, and Raw. But Kyle Gunn had the best show in terms of star rating of the three shows. So he got the first choice of the waiver. And it will be interesting to see who he has chosen to add to this here roster. Look at Wesley working on the leg now of Finn Balor. Attacking the limbs of Balor. Trying to slow Balor down the best way he knows how. And now dropping a knee right across the face of Balor. And now he's keeping Balor back to his feet. Look at Balor getting Wesley. Oh, and a nice DDT right there. Balor. Oh, look at him. A little taunt to the crowd as Wesley's trying to get to his feet. Wesley now catching Balor and now tossing him inside the ring. Balor taking a little too long to taunt. Nice double drop kick right there. Ooh, nice forearm shot as he levels Balor down to the mat. Balor rolls out of the ring, gets his composure. But Wesley still all on top of Balor right now. Oh, DDT playing Balor again. Balor just dropped with another DDT. Now stomping on that shoulder. Balor up to his feet. Wesley just giving Balor the flux right now. Now catching Balor. He's got him up. Is this a power bomb? Oh, no, 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 no. Look at Balor fighting his way, trying to get his way down. He fights his way down. Irish whip now. Oh! One, two. Oh, referee a little hesitant to make the count right there. Kick to the midsection. Has Balor double underhook. He's got him up. Oh, and he plants him. Cover. Ref again. Late to make the count. He doesn't even slap the mat right there. Wonder what the hell that's about. Oh, but Wesley with a suicide dive taking Balor clean out. Balor, though, responding. Tossing him into the announce table. As you can see, some of the, oh, the WWE guys here to call a match because we are using their platform, so they're making their own calls. But we here on the EFBC channel, oh, are right here with our own call for our specials. I'm not sure what Wesley was doing there. Referees count up to five. Wesley getting back into the ring. Backhand chop right there. Irish whip sends Wesley to the rope. Balor hits the mat. Well, oh, nice arm drag takedown from Finn Balor. Balor celebrating again. This time, catches Wesley. 
back elbow though. Wesley catching. Finn Balor himself sends him to that corner. Wesley. Oh my God. That kick. Finn Balor. Forearm shot. Into a cover. One. Two. Oh, kick out at two. Finn Balor now climbing up top. There he is. Oh, coup de grace. This could be it. Finn Balor with the cover. Referee right there. One. Two, three. Here is your winner, Finn Balor. Finn Balor with a big victory right there over Wesley. Wesley just needs that win, but Finn Balor. I think that, oh man, that, that kick after out of that somersault or whatever the hell you want to call it, the flip. <laughs> man, that changed the whole tempo of this matchup. What a shot that was. Alright, as we return, man, I'm still kind of reeling after that, that reversal that Finn Balor that put on Wesley, kicking him out of his flip completely. I'm coming to the ring right now, you can tell from all of the booze. It's an overwhelming amount of booze right now. This dirty Dominic Mysterio. Is scheduled for one star. Making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day. From San Diego, uh, calm California. Down. I guess they piped him in. The first pounds. part of this. Dirty Dominic Mysterio. This guy, they really want me to believe this guy is a great wrestler. But we're going to see exactly, just like they said, it'll be over soon. Don't worry. Because Dominic Mysterio tonight, he is facing Pete Dunne. And Pete Dunne is not just going to let Dominic Mysterio walk all over. Trust me and believe me when I say that. Me to believe it, Dominic Mysterio is title chip con or title contender s Please spare me.
Pete Dunn is making his way to the ring. It's going to be interesting to see if Dominic Mysterio can take the, the punishment that Pete Dunn is capable of putting out. This man hits hard. And you can tell just by looking through the TV screen that the shots that anyone take, takes from this man is ones of torture and punishment. Dominic Mysterio trying to look all cool about everything. And Pete Dunne with a game face. And there's the bell. Dunn grabbing away at Mysterio right off the top. And now working on an elbow just right out the back. Working the limbs and going right into putting Dom into a submission hold. Kamora Lock locked in, but Dom able to fight his way loose. Be done now. Going back to the elbow. European uppercut putting Dom down in that corner. With the face wash with the boots. Dom now under the boot of Pete Dunn. Dunn, oh, going back to stomping on the back and boots to the face. Look at the way he just works the limbs. Oh, he just works the limbs and joints and just look at him. Just now he's after the ankles. It's like he can't just choose one limb to target. He's going to target them all. Nice German suplex into the pin. Two. Oh, Dom able to kick out at two. Oh, done. Take a dime out right there. That's suicide dive. You see Dom clenching at his elbow right there. Dunn toss him back inside. Uh-oh. Oh my goodness. Jesus Christ. And then that kick to the back. Dom still trying to stay in this match some kind of way, but the boost from the crowd, a little distracting for Dom. And Dom Irish whipping Pete Dunn to the outside. Cause Dom, I'd stay away from Pete Dunn right now. Let him get that count out win, but Pete Dunn able to Get back inside the ring. Dom indecisive right now. What he wants to do with Dunn in the indecision and the indecisiveness of Mysterio giving Pete Dunn the upper hand again. German again. Dunn now with Dominic back to his feet. Kick to the midsection. He's got him up. Oh, and down he goes. Into a cover. One, two, Three, Pete Dunn with a quick victory knocking off Dominic Mysterio. Here is your winner. That Pete Dunn is no joke. Jaguars extend Trevor Lawrence. Five years, $275 million. $200 million guaranteed. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing the LWO from Queens, New York.
All right, and Zelina Vega out here right now. About to take on Rhea Ripley. She comes out with the women's title. Never found a women's title champion here yet. The WWE Women's World Champion. It will be in a car. I'm sure, I'm very well sure that that title defense will be coming up soon. It's Rhea Ripley making her way down to the ring right now. About to take on Zelina Vega. And I suppose a non-title matchup. Especially since uh, no one told me that the title would be or that there was a champion. is Mami. I think we just saw Dami. Oh, listen to that crowd. Say so Rhea's gonna kill you. Uh oh. Oh. Zelina Vega coming out of the gates a little fast. Oh, Rhea just moving out of the way after that springboard attack. Now Rhea showing off that power. Lifting her shit. Oh! Just a tote toss. Gonna do it again. That's say you little, you little bitty bee. Yeah, Rhea all over Zelina Vega right now. Oh, but Zelina with a nice kick to the midsection. Catching mommy out of guard. Now look at Vega. A couple kicks now to the face. Damani rising back to her feet. Irish whip sends Zelina to the apron. You know, Zelina Vega one time a WWE queen of the ring. And right now she's facing off against a woman that is and has been a champion in the WWE for a very long time. And right now, I guess she's still holding on to that WWE Women's Championship. Now, Irish Whip now seeing a Zelina. Oh, Zelina. Oh, leapfrog from Ro Mommy. Oh, nice tilt to World Slam. Look at Rhea Ripley showing off a little bit. Now look at her, she scales the top. Oh, and a nice double axe handle across the back of the neck of Zelina Vega. Zelina is down, cover, one, two. Referee a little slow with the count. Oh, what a boot. Good Jesus almighty. And then look at Rhea Ripley showing off the athleticism with the dive over the top rope. That move shocked me. Ref count now up to four. Now at five, listen to him. Zelina Vega now in the ring with Rhea Ripley. Ripley. 
Oh, takes a backstabber from Zelina Vega. This might be the opening that Vega needed. Missed the clothesline, though. That clothesline miss hurts. Big hit, but Vega. Oh, getting a hand stomped by Miami. Real Ripley now going up top. Oh, frog splash. The mommy splash. Oh, was Ripley glad playing here? Oh, she chilling. She's taking a break. Rhea Ripley with the taunt, but Vega. Nice forearm shot. Oh, neck break with Rhea Ripley. Zelina Vega now taunting Rhea Ripley, but that taunt might have came at the wrong time. Ripley with the abdominal stretch. Oh, look at Zelina Vega there. What a nice maneuver. And then a face crusher. Oh, but Zelina Vega gets caught with, oh, a riptide. Into a cover. One, two, three. There you have it. Rhea Ripley picking up that victory right there. Mommy wins. As we return, make sure you guys are checking out our shows out here on the eFed Broadcast Channel Universe. We've got the Turnbuckle Talk Podcast. We've got the eFed Broadcast Channel Universe right here with Raw, uh, Nitro, and ECW. We also have New Bree Primetime as well as their premiere live events. All that right here on the E-Fit Broadcast Channel. Plus you have a little bit of the Jordan era that is continuing. And then the biggest news dropped the other day as NC NCAA 25 will be returning, will be making its appearance. The NCAA football franchise is returning and it will be making a appearance on the E-Fed Broadcast Channel. Whether there will be a team builder with the EFBC universe or will there be a coaching dynasty that we can follow, tune in as there will be information released as we get closer to the update for the release of NCAA 25. And his opponent from Gomez Palacio Durango, Mexico, weighing in at 212 pounds, Andre. Uh, Santos Escobar is in for a matchup tonight as Santos Escobar will be battling against. El Idalo, Idalo, uh, whatever you say, Andrade.
next episode on the EFBC universe, you will see Nitro as they have a number one contender main event to name who's going to be the number one contender for that Nitro championship, heavyweight championship. And then following that, you will see ECW. And they have a huge main event on ECW. I will not give the word on that yet. Just to give it a little tease. I want you guys to come and check out EFBC Nitro before you know what's going to happen on ECW. But Santos Escobar coming out of the gates fast. And Andrade is down, and another dumb-ass referee I see. Not even getting there to make the count. Out of position, you may say. Look at Santos now. Scooping up and slamming down Andrade. Santos. With Andrade right where he wants him in on a nice cross body. And now look at this, stomping away at Andrade. Santos now running start in a boots to the face. Santos. Oh, listen to that chant. Oh, and he takes out Andrade. Santos putting the boots to the boots to the chest of Andrade right now. Oh, and then toss him into the steel steps. Andrade getting worked over right now by Santos Escobar. And Andrade tossed in the ring now by Escobar. Still trying to get his offense off in this matchup is Andrade, but ooh. Talk about working over on the shoulder right now. Um, it's just not supposed to bend like that. Oh, but able to shove Santos out of the air like a fly is Andrade. And now starting to get his shit off now. Nice suplex. Oh, look, Santos caught him. Forearm shot. Sends him to the rope. Oh, and down. Goes Andrade too far under the rope. Ref able to make that call from way over there. Andrade, oh! Caught. Oh, and then DDT'd on the apron. Andrade took the the cover off the turn, off the turnbuckle, but then Santos Escobar caught him, and then he Russian leg sweeped him out there. You can see that exposed turnbuckle. Referee count up to five now. We have yet to see a count out. And there is Andrade making his way back into the ring. Ref count made it to eight. Uh-oh. Andrade, Scorpion got dropped dead DDT. Oh, and a nice springboard into the cover. One, two, oh, come on, ref. You can hear the ref, I mean the crowd yelling for the ref as well to make those counts. But Escobar now heating things back up. Now the ref fucking with the turnbuckle. Escobar. Oh, runs into some knees. Andrade. Oh, Irish whip. 
Escobar has Andrade's knee. Oh, and he just kicks him right in the knee. Plants him. One, two, three. Oh, Santos Escobar upsets Andrade with that Michinoku driver. Coming. Santos Escobar picking up the win and stealing one. Yeah, it's magic, huh? Jay Z and Lenny Kravitz, and it's a heavy D production, you bastards. Come on, uh. hey yo, stop oh. playing, man. Let's go. Post, post, the Tano. Hold, hanging with Bono. You too can live like Sarah to Ferragamo. And you too can cool out poolside at the Delano. If you too flow like you was out of your mind, yo. You too new, dude, to love apple pies from McDonald's. You soon be the boss of the Big Apple. Yeah, I know. And who knew, dude, to play ball for the NBA would make a mistake on the who knew it stays so it away. Who knew that be his last shot? Who drew up that play? They can give it and they take it. Life is cruel that way, but even a broken clock is right at least two times a day. You could have turned guns into roses like two times a day. Now there's something you gotta say. Two times the J. I got my shades on, waiting for the sun to shine. All righty. As we return now for this intercontinental title match. Coming to the ring first. It's none other than the man that brings the fight to you every single time. And it is Kevin Owens. Ready for a fight. Here comes the second man of this triple threat, and it's none other than Ricochet. Ricochet may have left the WWE, but he is still here with the EFBC. Leave who you got for Intercontinental Champion in the comments below. It's my pick in this matchup is gonna be Kevin Owens. I like Ricochet and all, but I just don't see you getting a title right here tonight. Not with Kevin Owens standing in the way. People say this man right here can be the next holder of that title. And as he makes his way down to the ring right now, I don't think I can disagree more. Fuck him. I 
probably be a good matchup though. You got a brawler, a couple brawlers in this one. Then high flying action. I look at that belt. That belt is crazy. Title on the line in this one as we crown our first EFBC Intercontinental Champion of Raw. Out to the midsection, Bronson Reed. Oh. Reed catching him. Oh, but Kevin Owens. Got him up for an electric chair, but Bronson Reed tried to fight his way down, and he does. It's a big body to hoist up on your shoulders. There have been a whole lot of big bodies coming down, crashing on that mat. Breaker. Oh, but another neck breaker as Ricochet follows him up to Kevin Owens. Oh, oh, Owens catching a big, su big time super kick from Ricochet. But Owens is just not gonna let that slide. Back there, baby, look at that. And then he takes Brian Sarid out. Ricochet rolling out to the outside, trying to get his bearings back. Meanwhile, Kevin Owens. Nice move shot from the middle rope. Looking for the couple. One, two. Bronson Reed now. Irish whip ricochet. Ricochet bounces off the ropes. Oh, but gets caught with a massive clothesline. Back elbow to Reed. Reed able to move out of the way. Oh, but Kevin Owens has a sledgehammer. Oh, and he just grabs it in the back of Bronson Reed. Oh, look at Kevin Owens building that. That sledgehammer like that. Shot to the midsection. Scoop. Oh, no. Look at Kevin Owens looking for the win. One, two. <sighs> Ref will stay out of place. Oh, but Kevin Owens just got put in a place by Ricochet. And then Bronson Reed followed it up. Can't turn your head for a second in this matchup, or you're gonna get caught. Look like look at Kevin Owens just waiting on and picking the spot, and he found it. Owens with ricochet drops him on his neck. Look at Kevin Owens now going back. Oh, nice turn in the ricochet. Bronson Reed working on Owens. Takes him down to his knees. Owens just falls out. Ricochet just linked up against him. Oh, Bronson Reed just continuing to put his fight on both of them. Ricochet caught by the back of the head. Head goes off that top turnbuckle. Bronson Reed is going for a power bomb, but Kevin Owens interfered. Kevin Owens, German suplex. Ricochet. Owens lock up. Oh, springboard as Owens caught Bronson Reed with the DDT. Owens. Oh. Bronson Reed. The action in this matchup. It's all over the place, and I'm barely keeping up. So I hope you guys at home are entertaining and watching. Oh, look at that. Our next episode for new, oh, look at this. Oh, new Dirty Prime Time.
will be New Breeds Premier Live. Oh, look at this. Southern one, two, three, and Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens wins. He, he is, is your, your Intercontinental title. I like your take on boobies. And I like boobies. I am the high. 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 I Watch me leap from the top with the coup de grace. It's scary hours for you, you and all of y'all. How you want a submission to pinfall? I am not higher, go who about to set it off? Watch me leap from the top with the coup de grace. It's scary hours for you, you and all of y'all. Alrighty, everybody, as we are now. And our main event of the evening. As we reach the main event of the evening, here comes to the ring none other than Tomasa Champa. One of my favorites on this all roster. It's scheduled for one star. Making his way to the ring. Representing DIY from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Makes his way down to the ring. He is in for a matchup tonight. And are we in store for a classic? In my opinion, as two of the greats here in the EFDC universe are about to lock up Tomasa Champa and the phenomenal one, the champion, AJ Styles. AJ Styles with the big belt around his waist. And his A first look at AJ Styles as the champion. go. AJ Styles versus Tomasa Champa. A dream match of mine. AJ Styles of Champa right away. Champa hits the rope. Champa. Oh, AJ Styles. Just cleaned his clock. Suplex from AJ Styles. AJ Styles defeated four other men to win that title. Those four other men, no slouches in that ring. I'll tell you that much. Finn Balor and AJ Styles himself. So three other men. Oh. Take his 
time. As he attacked Ciampa. Ciampa came up on the tail end on his loss to Bronson Reed. Styles just taking out Tomasa Champa. Look, gloating from AJ Styles. Look at this. Champa. Oh, Champa with a little bit of blood force trauma to AJ Styles. As they fight up the ringway. I think that's the furthest I've seen someone fight up the rampway. For quite some time in there. Oh, look at this. Fairy tale ending into a cover. One, two, three. Oh. Man. Tomasa Ciampa nearly made a name for himself right there. Irish whip sending AJ. Now he caught him. Oh, but AJ, returning fire. A couple fists to the face of Chopper. Now Irish whip. Nice drop kick. AJ now trying to decide what to do next. Might be taking a little bit too much time, but he does hit that move. Look at this, AJ, AJ Styles with the Styles Clash into a cover. One, two, three. There you have it, AJ Styles wins. Able to pick up the victory. Man, what a show we have for you tonight. That will be it for EFBC Universe. I have been your host, MJ Jones. And I hope you have enjoyed tonight's action on the Event Broadcast Channel. I like boobies.